God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. He is so precious and so sweet. Our shepherd, our king, our redeemer, our teacher. Right, please stay with me. It's a typical a message. It's not an easy one, but it's in the Bible and it will teach us a lesson. And if you uh, uh, listen and uh, follow my teachings, uh, you are called in a specific place in the body of Christ. And, um, and if you're not are called in a place, you are uh, struggling with some problems in your life. But listen, God can make something special out of all what you're doing. It doesn't matter what and um, if you allow God to work in your life and to apply the word of God in your life and not be a uh, for get that forgetting a uh, hearer but a doer of the word he can bring you in a new position in your life to follow up and to uh, the word of God and obey the Holy Spirit the sweet spirit right house of death to repentance the house or death the house or death the house of death to repentance there is a house of death to repentance and this may be a strange message um, I know it's true it is in the Bible and please stay with me I will bring you to the scriptures you can bring yourself in a house of death and uh, and God can bring you in a house of death to repentance and please um, there's not an easy uh, teaching to follow um, if you don't understand this and you already judge me by the title maybe it's not wise to listen if you are struggling with um, kind of um, addictions please listen stay with me this teaching gives you insight that God loves you and can give you give you the time to repent and if you don't repent God will give you uh, I think so I believe so and next uh, chance to do so and um, in this time on in on the world you have the time to transform and to learn God and after this time on the world there is no chance I don't know there is no chance if you are going to the hell right I don't speaking on this teaching about the hell I speak of the house of death to repentance right very uh, if you are wise, you can bring your heart in a house of death. And if you know the scriptures, you already know what for scripture I mentioned. I know the scripture for a very, very long time. And not it is not about me, of course, but it impressed me in a way that I was surprised to read this in the Bible. I love the Bible and um, I read it not too much. <laughs> I want to read it more and more. But right. A house of death to repentance. Again, I want to, um, if you don't understand, don't judge this teaching. You don't, you, if you don't judge, judge this teaching, you judge the word of God and um, it's not wise. Uh, if you don't um, can understand this and that can be happened, um, the Lord will give you understanding to help you, to uh, let you know, uh, to bring you in a new way with him. It's very, in, in very, 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 a very um, special teaching. Right. I want to read a couple of scriptures and um, I want to first start with a scripture and already is this um, that you can no more doubt about 
what I share with you, but there is more to show. The men that wandered out of the way of understanding so remain in concordation of the dead. The men that wandered wavering out of the way of the understanding. And that means also if you lost your mind, that is what it means. Uh, the Dutch translations say this: If you are uh, separate yourself from the from the from the way of your mind, the way of the verstands, the weg the weg van de verstand afdwaalt. The Bible, in particular, the Book of Proverbs, teaches many times the simple one. If you are simple, you have no really. Uh, you have you 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 have some understanding, but not enough to 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 ponder about the ways uh, about other and uh, if you don't can ponder the word of god you don't can ponder you can see the wavering from other people around you why you have not discernment built up and uh, learned and exercise yourself in from through the word of god and you are a babe teaching the word us in hebrews 5 verse 14 And that is meaning about wandering, wavering of the and uh, step out of the way of understanding. It is also if you have the mind of Christ, you will follow automatically the ways of the Lord. When Jesus had the mind of Christ, it teaches himself and you walk in through and Jesus say, I am the way, true and life. And you remain in condition of death. Jesus say in this way. Let the dead bury the be dead. That is what it means. If you are dead in your soul, you are not living for God. You are living for this world. It's painful if you get if you understand this. You became a living soul by the breath of God in you, by His Spirit. Right. There is an, uh, uh, and, and God can bring you in the concordation of death. Let me read um, and don't judge me. You can't, if you like so. It's not wise. I don't touch you either. I don't do. Uh, What does it mean? In and also, if you surround yourself with people, they don't, um, they from the world. What is happening? Let me read it for you. God can bring you in a house of death to repent for repentance. Yes, and uh, if I read and I read this many times, um, if you are be wise and you listen to what the Bible teaches us, and this is Proverbs one, two, three, three, four, five, six, the father speaks to the son, said to the daughter, speaks and speaks and listen to my word, so you, so these words deliver day from the strange woman, Proverbs two verse sixteen. The words delivered from the strange woman, even from the stranger with flitting with her words. Listen, with forsaken her guide of the youth and forgotten the confidence of her God. That is the uh, principle from a strange woman and uh, strange woman and the woman with the flitting words. She is um, no longer in the confidant with uh, the relationship with Jesus and yes, she she can talk about it, but don't apply and don't follow up the word of God. And listen, verse 18, for her house inclined unto death. Why? She have no, she have no more understanding. That that's, is the same in Proverbs 20, 21 and 16. And the man wandered out of the way of understanding. It's the same thing as... Um, the woman is guide, is forgotten her guide of the youth and forgotten the confidence of God. 
from the confidant of God, the law of God, comes the mind of God, comes the mind of Christ. If you step out of this system, you have no longer understanding of life from God and all life. Maybe a little bit harsh for you, but... For a house inclined unto death and a pet unto the dead. Two times. None that go into her return again and neither take their hold of the pets of life. The Bible teaches if you are, if you're making, if you're doing a lot of wrong, God can uh, bring you uh, in, uh, give you the attachment with this woman and you uh, step in, in the house of death. To, and God will do this by people uh, so they can repent. If God is angry with you, he will do. He will do it. And also for women, if you don't repent yourself, and if you are, um, you are, you say maybe you are a prophetess or you are, uh, anyhow, if you're a woman and you are, you're posting on your social media all kinds of nice things, you listen to this, 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 but you don't apply the word of God. Again, again, God will warn you about through your reading, in your feelings, if you don't listen, and God warn you by brothers and sisters around you, and you don't listen, don't listen, don't listen. And I know, <laughs> don't I don't want to step in this, but God will deliver you in an, a bed. So you have sex with the wrong guy. If you are a woman, you have the sex with the wrong guy, and you you will you will you will enter in debt in your soul, and you lost your riches in your soul. I hope so. Later on, I teach this in other message. You, you lost yourself, your identity. You lost your identity, and you're wondering about yourself. In my, I was 16, 17, 18. I was so other person. Yes, that's true. You lost your identity by, don't listen. God will uh, get angry on you if you don't don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. He deliver you to a strange man, and if you are str if you are a man, he deliver you to a strange woman, and you step in your soul, that, and also your way is going down to the hell. That's what this Proverbs two, sixteen to nineteen means. Right, and it's there in the Bible. I want to read it for you. The mouth of the strange woman is a deep pit. I already explain and teach you what a strange woman is he's forgot her covenant she she was before a christian and she, maybe she called herself again a christian but if you don't live by the word of god if you don't obedient to god you are not christian you are yourself he that is a adorer of god so fall therein he that is adored of the lord so fall therein this man so fall in the pit from this strange woman. And this the pit from Proverbs 2, 16 to, to 19. In particular, the uh, verse 18 and 19. And this Proverbs 22, verse 14 is right there in your Bible. And 23 and 27, uh, uh, 23 21st, 27, 28 teaches for a war is a deep ditch and strange woman is a narrow pit. It's, it's, it's teaching about the same principle. See also light in the way as for and pray. She's a robber. So robber you from your life and increase in the transgressors amongst men. That's how it works. She's waiting. <laughs> like I don't want to use this word, but she's waiting on you. If you are, if the Lord is angry on you, if you do, don't listen. Right, I want to read the other scripture. So if you don't believe me, now you have to, you have to believe it. Otherwise, you are uh, <laughs> obstinate. It's painful. Jesus teaches this in the in in in, in Revelation chapter two. Chapter 2, 20, 20 uh, to 24. 
now withstanding i have a few things against thee because thou suffered that woman jezebel which listen which called herself a prophetess she called herself prophetess she called herself a christian a believer eh? I, this the same principle what we the bible teaches about uh, this is the same woman she say i'm a christian but she don't live like in this way she say sex before marriage is okay and uh, do all kinds of things and don't listen to God and right she called herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols in other words live like the world this so, so this woman say it is in this way oh don't uh, look to this does matter look only but in in in, in other words uh she shows something from herself and she say oh don't oh, oh don't worry i uh, don't only look to to this and so she, in in other words she covered a little bit up and seduce you to try you to to seduce you and to say it, it's okay that, that i do this and don't say anything about me I, I'm only you've only to look, and that's <laughs> that is the way how can women can move in a certain way to seduce you and to bring you another point in your life. And men can also don't think that I'm only preach about women. Men do it another way. He, he but women are smart. Do it in a subtle in a way that you you cannot understand, but you know there is something wrong. And, and, and men are very harsh it's very easy to point out you do wrong and by woman you it is not easy to do uh, point this out they are very smart in a way that you don't understand you need the word of god to 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 discern this not always you... right go on 21 listen what the lord jesus said to this woman to this christian woman they post all kinds of nice stuff on the social media but she don't repent she don't apply the word of God. She listen to teachers and she say, "Oh, it's so beautiful, uh, it's so powerful." But she don't apply the word of God in her life to change her life and to, to so so, so <laughs> right. I you understand this? I hope so. I love the Lord look and have your understanding. Twenty one. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repent not. Behold, I cast her into a bed. Listen, behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into a great tribulation. The Lord said this: If you, this woman or man, you will get a lot of pressure and tribulation in your life by doing this. Accept the repentance of their deeds. And there is. Right, I want to round it up here. It's enough. I want to give you another scripture. And so, it's amazing. It's, you can bring yourself, if you're wise and you're applying the word of God, you, Let me read the other scripture. It's a very beautiful scripture. And this uh, teaching is not an easy one. I always, uh, I, I already uh, told you, it's a powerful teaching. It is the word of God. And it's the true uh, God can work in this way with certain people on the earth. And you have to know this. If you are this person, you don't repent, don't repent, don't repent. And you say, I'm a Christian. You post all kinds of things on your social media. And also you post you're going out your party and you people see you on the picture with uh with beer and photo and you they know they they you show you show something about a lifestyle it's not compare what god wants god becomes angry with you i say i warn you i warn you it's not holiness and if you listen to my other teachings you get understanding that party and dancing music listen so you get more balance about this teaching right i want to uh round it up with the last part is a beautiful part is a very powerful part and also um is a house of mourning and house of death 
it's better to go into the house of mourning and that than to go to the house of face feasting to parting for he for that is the end of all men and the living will lay in it to his heart sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better and wiser verse 4 the heart of the wise in the house of mourning the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning it's ecclesias chapter 7 verse 2 to 5 the heart of the wise in the house of mourning but the heart of the fools is in the house of myth in the house of party the house of it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for all men to hear the song of the fools i hope so you get this and make you wise and um and maybe you are if you are troubled in your soul that's it's not not nice but if you will if you want to will receive more wisdom god will feel your trouble in your soul so you know there is something wrong in me god will not point out something in you that you he will offend you no he want to point something out to so you you can change this so you can receive more life to repentance and this is a methodic that is in principle uh, this chapter 7 verse 2 to 5 it's very beautiful if you can step in yourself in a house of mourning about yourself you can step in an environment from mourning and to repentance and to look to yourself mourning is not always repentance it's also to bring your heart in a state that you broke break yourself before god the world is is bruising you and there is no healing but if you break yourself for god in prayer you bring yourself in a house of mourning you think by yourself god eh? peter say this in luke 18 and um i don't know the first but if you uh, um i think it's 26 24. he say lord how is it possible that we can be saved and then the lord jesus say it's possible by god and he break himself he make himself sad and think by himself how is possible if you go to this in a way to god he will help you he god will have a love he's if you read psalm 51 it's a beautiful one god will love you god will heal you god will heal you and bring you in a new direction in your life and that's the meaning of that's the purpose of this teaching to get knowledge maybe you are a, 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 a pastor from a church it's a very great teaching for this also but it is to bring yourself in a new position and know your position of your heart know this right that the lord will bless you and give you understanding and please yes yes share thanks for listening god bless you